30 years, Effie Eitam served as military commander in the Israeli army. From fighting on the front lines in the Yom Kippur War to leading the raid on Antebi, Effie has steered death in the face many times over the years and somehow miraculously survived. But nothing can compare to what happened to Effie a couple of years ago when he was in a fishing tour in Alaska. We flew to Anchorage and then from Anchorage by a small airplane to a place called King Salmon and from King Salmon to a group of six wooden lodge in the middle of nowhere. Unbelievable, spectacular nature, lakes and woods and caribou. Effie was so looking forward for this trip because all the years he's been on the front lines in Gaza and Lebanon and Syria, and he was finally getting some time alone. One of the guys spoke to our fishing guide and said, Bill, there is only one animal that can be dangerous and that the grizzly bears. What am I supposed to do if a bear will come? And then he said, everybody listen. If a bear will come, you should stand still, turn your face to him and say, hey bear, this is my place, I want to fish here. I burst off laughing, I said, Will he accept this uh, argumentation? Is he aware for such a ritual? And Bill said, don't worry. It always worked, it will work in your case too. A couple of hours later, Effie's all alone, minding his own business, fishing while eating his tuna sandwich, the tuna that he brought from Israel. And all of a sudden he hears rustling in the leaves behind him. I turned my head and there he was, a grizzly bear in the wilderness, 15 meters from me. Every part of Effie wanted to run. But you know, grizzly bears run 30 miles an hour. If you run, they'll catch you. If you climb up a tree, they'll climb and get you. I had nothing to do but following the instructions I got. And then I stood look at him, and then I said, hey bear, this is my place, I intend to fish here. When he heard my voice, he stood on his hind legs, more huge than he was looked when he was standing on his four feet. Effie is about to melt from fear, but continues to say, beer, this is my place, I intend to fish here. And then after a few seconds, he went downstream and started to fish some fishes. Later that afternoon, Billy comes back with the propeller airplane to pick up Effie, and Effie says, Billy, you're not gonna believe what happened. It worked, it worked. Tell me, how does that work? Does the bear understand English? And Billy says, it's simple. For the bear, you are human being. You are the crown of nature, and he will never think about you as food unless you behave like an animal. You are crawling, you are running, you are screaming, you are bleeding, but when you stand, and you hear a human voice, it will never attack you. You know, you and I will probably never have to face a grizzly bear, hopefully. But in Jewish literature, the bear is always a symbol of anger, anxiety, and temptation. And these are the bears many of us struggle with and face every single day, which is why Shlomo HaMelech, the wisest man to ever live, writes in Kehelis, Im Ruach HaMoishel Ta'ala Olecha. When you feel these powerful negative emotions come over you, the most important rule to remember is Mekoimcha al Tanach. Don't react and run. Stand your ground. Remember who you are. You are someone who's created in the image of Hashem. And beneath all the layers of fear, self-doubt, and insecurities, there's this powerful, infinite light. And if we can tap into that and feel it in our gut, then we'll have the confidence to take a stand, face our beers, and overcome our struggles. Torabor, c'est une véritable yeshiva en ligne qui va vous permettre d'étudier les textes de référence dans les mots Talmud, Livre des Prophètes, Chassidut, Moussar, Pensée Juive, Alaha. Des dizaines d'œuvres disponibles avec pour chacune d'elles un enseignement adapté. En un seul clic, où que vous soyez, à n'importe quelle heure du jour ou de la nuit. Étudiez enfin tous les sujets que vous avez toujours rêvé d'approfondir. Travailler le Gan, c'est la sauce du vrai Torah. C'est travailler les paroles de l'étude de la Torah. Et c'est quoi garder le Gan C'est l'échement Mizrota de garder le Mizrota. Aujourd'hui, la Torah n'a jamais été aussi proche de nous.